Hi, this is Corey Bergman with Ideal Air. Today I want to talk about our, our 160 pint, and I don't have it here because it's being built right now, but the 180 pint commercial grade dehumidifiers. These things are a metal cabinet, no plastic, heavy duty powder coated. They come with four wheels. They also come with wall brackets, so you can mount these on your wall to get them off your floor if you'd like. They have a digital control panel. They're auto restart. You can set your humidity levels at 40, 50, 60, 70, or 80 percent, 10 degree, 10 percent increments. If you set it in the 40 percent mode, it will run continuously. How these work is air is drawn into the front through the louvers, goes through the condensing coil, moisture is collected on these fins, drips down into the drain pan, collects in the drain bucket. Now you can take this drain bucket and you can dump it out every time it's full or as you can see they have the drain nipple right here and for continuous draining all you need to do is drill out the cap here screw this back on on the side here you can see the rubber grommet for your drain hose so you feed your drain hose in hook it up to the nipple here Slide it back in, shut the door, your drain tube will be coming out the side for continuous drainage. If you don't have any place to drain it to, we have the condensate pumps here. So have to pull the pump out. Take one of these caps out. Obviously you'll have this above the pump if it's sitting on the floor. It's not going to work because you can't run uphill. So if you have this elevated on a base, or if you have it mounted on the wall, you simply run your drain tube into the condensate pump. As the pump fills up, there's a float inside. The float raises up just like the toilet bowl on your house. It starts pumping water out through the tube. Each one of these pumps comes with 16 feet of tubing. You just simply slide it on the barb fitting, run the tubing out to wherever your drain is and the unit will automatically cycle off and on as this fills it up. So we have two versions. We have the up to 60 pints a day and up to 100 pint a day version. They both work on the same principle. Water is collected on the coil, goes into the drain bucket, and you can either hand dump it or hook up your permanent drain. Now these things are made to work in a cold environment. So what you'll find out is sometimes these will start to frost up and ice up on you. These have what's called an automatic hot gas bypass which changes the flow of the refrigerant. This coil becomes filled with hot refrigerant gas rather than cold refrigerant. It'll defrost this. The water will be collected in the drain bucket and it will start to cycle all over again. So if you open this door up and you see some frost, you see some ice on here, just wait 15, 20 minutes. It'll go into defrost mode. It'll all melt off and it'll start over. The 180 pint unit, which isn't here yet, does not have a drain bucket on it. It only works with continuous drainage. It's 240 volts. I want to talk about the power requirements for these dehumidifiers. 60 pint, the 100 pint, and the 180 pint are all 115 volts. This unit draws 6.5 amps. The 100 pint draws 8.7, and the 180 pint draws 12 amps. There you have it. 